uh, Tandy and Tyrone trying to find each other's beat, you know, trying to work together as a team, but you kind of like, oh, it's a trial and everything. Is it going to be more in harmony for both of them in season two, or are they still going to be like trial and error to work as a team? I think it's a little bit of both. I think obviously first season we sort of went on this journey with them as individuals and watched them come together here and there and then realized that they are better together than they are apart, especially when it comes down to the powers and saving the world or their community or the universe. And um, second season, everything is just way more enhanced on every capacity, emotionally, physically, mentally. And um, with Tandy and Tyrone in particular, I think both of them are going to learn some big lessons and they're going to go down a path that is going to be a little tricky and um, they'll learn a lot about themselves as individuals, but also how they work together as a team. And um, I mean, they're just, they're, I don't know how they do it. And I, every time I get a script, I'm like, they are really, they're really good. We're really going there. And um, we obviously cover some really heavy topics this season, um, which I'm very proud to be a part of a show that is not afraid to shy away from those things. And, um, and we're really pushing the culture forward on a whole new level. With shows, Marvel shows like Runaways and also Cloak and Dagger, what is it about runaway teens that resonate with audiences? Like, is it the sense of independence or the spirit of rebellion? I mean, I think a little bit of both. I think, I think what sort of separates us from a lot of other shows is that these are two young kids who are not just dealing with learning that they have these powers and trying to learn how to cope with them, but they're also coping with issues that are happening in their lives already. Mm with the situation and Tandy and her mom and her dad and, and Tyrone with his whole family. I mean, those are some really intense things that they're going through. And both of them sort of come from, Tandy comes from a broken home and Tyrone comes from a family who's trying to mend so many pieces of their lives together. And those are things that kids are going through in reality. And I think they can sort of relate to that in a way. And it makes our show a lot more authentic and grounded. And, um, and I think on the scale of being young and independent and, you know, wanting that rebellion and freedom, I think that's sort of a spark in all of us at some point in our lives. I mean, I'm sure I've been there before. Adulting is hard. You don't want to adult, but then you also want to. It's yeah. like there's a, it's like a tricky scale. So um, they definitely are, are trying to grasp the idea of what they can do by themselves without any other, you know, opinions forming for them. Last question. I know that uh, Tyrone has a girlfriend, but when when is Tandy and Tyrone going to be a couple? I can <laughs> tell you that. I truthfully like I personally love the fact that Tandy and Tyrone are building this incredible friendship together and I think it's going to make it way more special if they do end up together and I, I, I agree it's totally sweet and um, I think they have bigger fish to fry right now before they you know end up getting all lovey-dovey on each other <laughs> but um, I, everyone wants it everyone wants it we'll see fingers crossed thank you so much Olivia thank you